Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 27th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the sun for the last 48 hours, as we've had no major solar flares or coronal mass ejections to report. All pretty quiet, considering the massive sunspots that are moving in. I did give a detailed view of those yesterday, looking at the last 48 hours incoming, cresting into view, pretty large and complex sunspot grouping on the left-hand side, and as well, a couple plasma prominences or filaments swirling around the surface of our sun, definitely keeping an eye on those. Looking at outgoing here, no major solar events to talk about today. It's been hanging out in the C-Class solar flux range. Looking at multi-spectrum here, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Big plasma filament there. That's the one I'm a little bit worried as it does come for Earth-facing. Over the next 24 hours, let's hope it stays intact. Also in the Northern Hemisphere, coronal hole region, but no major coronal holes to talk about right now. Just a pretty active uh, sunspot grouping, turning in on the left-hand side. And right now we have nine, ten sunspot regions on our sun. Quick look here at these sunspot regions in motion. Little time lapse of the black holes on our sun. In solar cycle 25, and welcome to the solar max. Current space weather conditions, there are none to speak of. No major solar events. Solar winds are coming in at 334 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as I said, in the C range, in a moderate C range. Solar proton flux is low. And geomagnetic activity hopping up to almost a 3 today. And that is ahead of these expected solar storms from our sun, showing the Space Weather Prediction Center here with the most recent CMEs. Looks like another one coming in behind here. 28th into the 29th is going to be our next solar storm event. Across the Northern Hemisphere, you will see a pretty decent aurora show or northern lights. Having a look here at the space prediction spiral. Little green circle is Earth. And the rest is cosmic energies coming from our sun. Iswa space prediction spiral here. Showing most recent CME, and that was the same as yesterday. So nothing new since yesterday. And here's a look at tonight's Aurora view line, and as well tomorrow night for North America. Better likelihood tomorrow night, as we are expecting a glancing blow from that most recent CME. Having a look at Lasco 3, showing the last two days of imagery. And we have Venus leaving view in the next couple days. That bright circle or star on the left-hand side. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours. Still expecting something big here as the Pacific Plate has been pretty active. And we've seen some deep earthquakes as well. Kermadec Islands region today with a 59 And just north of there, Tonga region, 4.5, Levuka, Fiji, 601 kilometer depth. That's the deepest earthquake we've seen all week. But notable activity there through the Kermadec Trench. Papua New Guinea and lots of activity coming back to the Philippines plate. Including seismicity off the coast of Japan. And down through... The Volcano Islands region, Nishinashima.
submarine volcanoes that are literally making new islands through the region. Deep earthquake here in Germ, 227 kilometer depth, Afghanistan, as well notable earthquake here, 4.2, Todmus, Germany, pretty rare earthquake, 4.7 there, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, South American Plate, Southern Chile with a 4.5 and a 4.8, Northern Chile, Quiet through the Caribbean, quiet through Mexico. Nothing major to talk about across the North American plate, but notable continual activity at Nikolskoy, Alaska. 4.9 earthquake there reported. All through the Aleutian Islands, it's been an active week. And up into Alaska, just giving a glance here at the last seven days, it's been an active region. And as well, lots of SO2 coming from the active volcanoes through the region. Quick look here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Take a quick moment to thank you all for watching. Much love and I appreciate you being a part of this journey, part of this amazing community on YouTube. It's been a pretty quiet week for our sun. Interesting earthquake there, north of Venezuela, off the coastline. And all the notable activity up into the Pacific Northwest. Heads up, everybody. I wanted to share here with you NASA Worldview, showing a pretty large dust storm moving across the Atlantic Ocean. Big Sahara dust storm has been blowing across the ocean since June 13th. Even spreading up into the Mediterranean. This is the most recent satellite imagery today. Pretty large dust storm moving up into Italy. All the orange dots are hot spots. Some pretty nasty fires all across central Dominican Republic of Congo, Central Africa. Even through South America, but nothing like we've seen in the past. But still, some very notable hot spots all across Brazil. Got some fires up in parts of eastern Russia as well to touch show here. NASA Worldview, very amazing tool and able to see live satellite imagery. Now let's have a look at our weather forecast brought to you by windy.com mixed with daily events worldwide. Low pressure system coming out of Alberta and as well low pressure system moving up the east coast over the next couple days. Watch for extreme weather to break out across the Canadian prairies and as well central United States. Long weekend coming up here for Canada. Big low pressure system moving in Saturday into Sunday. It's going to be a very wet long weekend and then high pressure ridge moves in after that. And another big low comes in off the Pacific before another high pressure ridge strong one builds in off the coast. No major hurricanes forecast in this long range forecast for the North American soil. Lots of moisture though, lots of moisture. Having a look here through Central America this is the most recent area of interest. Forecast models showing going right over Guatemala as quite possibly a Category 1 tropical storm. Stay tuned, we'll give you details in the shorter range forecast as we get closer to landfall. Overlooking Europe. Low pressure system hanging out this week before scooting northeastward, set to bring some extreme weather. Other than that, no major systems affecting you this week. Big high pressure ridge in the Atlantic. Big high pressure ridge in the Pacific as well right now. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. Low pressure system, Western Territory of Australia. 
scooting across the continent before high pressure ridge moves in for Sunday into Monday. Extreme weather all through parts of India, Mongolia, and into China, and then scooting into North and South Korea. Some pretty strong lows coming out, racing out of the Tibetan Plateau. We have extreme heat in the equator, and so it's still some very cold temperatures at higher elevation, helping fuel the extreme weather around the world. Quick look here overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Forecast models showing high pressure ridge building in. Long range forecast for the coastline. That means dry air. But big high pressure in the Atlantic and as well the Pacific. Keeping things well north. Now I wanted to share here with you every so often I like to share the null school upper level winds. Depicting, this is our south pole, polar vortex. And as well, looking at the directional winds for the equator. Trade winds around the world. Some interesting currents across the Indian Ocean right now. Let's just go back. Yeah, let's go back a decade. Let's go back to 2014. See what the winds were looking like at that time. Pretty strong. See the direction and as well where the equator was. Strong winds along the equator. Where's our equator now? This is what our North Pole looks like. And that's our South Pole. Now let's have a quick look here at our North Atlantic Current. As every so often, I like to share these images from Null School. Keep you updated on what's going on with our planet, especially with this very important North Atlantic current. Overlooking here, the east coast of Canada, northeastern United States. You can see these currents. North Atlantic. Blues being colder water, and of course, reds being warmer water. Let's go back to 2023 at this time last year. This time last year, it was a lot colder, as you can see those blues and greens dipping even further south at this time. But literally, this Atlantic current has shifted, it's changed its shape. We're going to see some dramatic changes across the world. Documented here with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. A lot of information packed into this video. Much love. Stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.